When most people think of cosmetic medicine, plastic surgery, and its occasionally drastic changes, often comes to mind. The notion of having work done or being left with frozen, unnatural features often casts a shadow over the value of cosmetic medicine. First and foremost, there are two facets in this industry, surgical, which refers to plastic surgery, and non-surgical, which pertains to things like body contouring, botulinum toxin, dermal fillers and energy-based devices. My cosmetic practice focuses on the latter and is grounded both in the philosophy of science and the art of skin rejuvenation. I believe the practice of cosmetic medicine must be integrated with our health style. That is, our lifestyle, overall health and how we age. One comment I often hear from patients is the concern that others will notice they've had work done. Patients are worried about over plump lips, frozen faces and other unnatural features. These are extreme cases, and sometimes, a personal choice of the individual. Some people are looking for that done look. However, the overwhelming majority of people we meet just want to look refreshed and great for their age, to look natural with slight enhancements. The key here is the art of subtlety, meaning starting small and adding to treatments if needed. So many of my patients come in and start apologizing, saying, sorry, I must seem so vain, as if they have to justify wanting to have these treatments done. There's no need to apologize for caring about your skin. I often compare it to going to the gym. No one apologizes for working out. We know that going to the gym has health benefits, but in all honesty, a lot of us go there because we want to lose weight, we want a six-pack. In addition to managing our health, we want the aesthetic benefits. We don't need to justify our personal journey to look and feel our best. Both men and women care about their skin health. It's something everyone should care about, after all. Skin is the body's largest organ and the only one we can see. Generally, while women do make up the majority of the cosmetic medicine customer base, we are beginning to see more men owning how they look and age as well. This is a trend I believe will continue to grow. Once we get past the myths, the industry really opens up and becomes about how we introduce people to cosmetic medicine and creating a comfort level. I always recommend booking a consultation to assess your skin health with a physician who specializes in cosmetic medicine. A cosmetic medicine physician will have a solid understanding of anatomy, aging and beauty, as well as the science behind the technologies available. So, guys, I hope you like this video and please share, and subscribe my YouTube channel.